In this video, we're going to focus on solving some common physics problems associated with electric generators. So in this problem, we have a 60 Hertz AC generator, and this generator has a coil with an area of 5 times 10 to the minus 3 square meters. And the number of loops is 500, and we're given the strength of the magnetic field inside this generator. How can we calculate the angular speed of the generator? So let's make a list of what we know. We have the area, we have the number of loops, and we have the strength of the magnetic field. And we also have the frequency, which is 60 hertz. So how can we use this to calculate the angular speed? So for part A, the angular speed is simply 2 pi f. So it's 2 pi times the frequency, which is 60 hertz. And so that's going to be about 377 radians per second. And so that's all you need to do for the first part of the problem. Now let's move on to the next part. Determine the peak output voltage of the generator. So the formula that we need is this equation. The peak output voltage is going to be NVA times omega. Now, for an AC generator, we have a sinusoidal function. And so it alternates like this. And so here is the peak voltage. Now, this graph can be described by this formula. It's NBA times omega times sine omega t. Because it's a sinusoidal function, it varies with time. However, if we wish to calculate just the maximum EMF, we just need to use this formula. We don't need the sine portion of it. Sine 90 is 1, so at its maximum value, we can replace sine with 1. And so that gives us this equation. Now, a DC generator is going to have an output that looks like this. So it's only on the top portion of the graph. And this is for an AC generator. So in this problem, N is 1500, B is 0.10, the area is 5 times 10 to the minus 3, or 0 0.005, and the angular speed is 377 radians per second. So let's multiply these four numbers together. And so you should get 282.75 volts. So that's the peak output of this particular AC generator. Now what about part C? What is the RMS voltage produced by the generator? The RMS voltage is equal to the peak voltage divided by the square root of 2. So it's 282.75 divided by the square root of 2, and that comes out to be 199.9 volts. And so that's it for part C. Now let's move on to part D. If a 50 ohm resistor is connected across the generator, what is the RMS current that will flow in this resistor? So let's draw a picture first. So let's say if we have a sine wave, this is a symbol that could represent the AC generator, and we have a 50 ohm resistor. So what current will flow in the circuit? So to calculate the current, we know we could use this equation, V is equal to IR. So the current is going to be the voltage divided by the resistance. So we're going to use the RMS voltage generated by the generator and divided by the resistance across it. So it's 199.9 volts divided by 50 ohms. Now because we use the RMS voltage, this will give us the RMS current in the circuit. So 
So this is 3.998, which we can round and say it's 4 amps. So that's the current that's going to flow in this particular resistor. Number two, an AC generator rotates at 2500 RPM with a magnetic field of 0.25 Tesla. It has a circular coil with a radius of 10 centimeters and consists of 200 loops. The generator is connected across a 100 ohm resistor. Calculate the angular speed in radians per second. So let's start with that first. So right now the angular speed is in RPMs, rotations per minute, or you can use revolutions per minute. Now one revolution is two pi radians. So we could cancel these units. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. And so this is how you can convert RPMs to radians per second. You need to multiply by 2 pi and then divide by 60. And so the angular speed is 261.8 radians per second. And so that's the answer for part A. Part B, determine the frequency of the generator. So we know that the angular frequency is equal to 2 pi f. So to calculate the frequency, it's omega divided by 2 pi. So it's going to be 261.8 radians per second divided by 2 pi. And so that's going to be 41.67 hertz. So now you know how to convert from RPM to frequency for a generator. Now let's move on to part C. What is the peak output voltage of the generator? So we could use this equation. It's equal to NBA times omega. So in this example, there are 200 loops. The strength of the magnetic field is 0.25 Tesla. And the area, we have a circular coil. So the area is pi r squared. The radius is 10 centimeters. We need to divide that by 100. And so that's going to be 0.10 meters. And don't forget to square it. So this represents the area of the circular coil times omega, which we have. That's 261.8. So the peak output voltage is 411.2 volts. So that's it for part C. D, calculate the RMS current flowing in a resistor. So first, let's calculate the peak current. It's going to be the peak output voltage divided by the resistance. So keep in mind, V is equal to IR. If you want to calculate the current, it's the voltage divided by the resistance. And this represents the voltage produced by the generator. So the voltage of the generator is 411.2 and the resistance is 100 ohms. So this is going to be 4.112 amps. So that's the peak current. Now to calculate the RMS current, it's going to be the peak current divided by the square root of 2. So that's 4.112 amps divided by the square root of 2. And so that's going to be 2.908 amps. So that's it for part D. Now let's move on to part E. How much power is dissipated by the resistor? So we can use this formula. It's I squared times R. So we need to use the RMS current. If you use the peak current, it will be 1 half I squared R. And this will give us the average power. So the RMS current is 2.908 squared times 100.
And so the average power dissipated by the resistor is 845.6 watts. If we use the other formula, one half of the peak current, 4.112 squared times 100, this should give us the same answer. And it does. Now, due to rounding, it might be slightly different, but it's 845.4 based on the way it's written. So this is the answer. So you could say it's approximately 850 watts if you round it to two significant figures. A generator rotating at 1500 RPMs has an output voltage of 10 volts. What is the output voltage when the generator is rotating at 4500 RPMs? So here's the formula. The output voltage is equal to NBA times omega. So if you increase the angular speed, the output voltage should increase proportionally. So initially, the angular speed is 1500 RPMs. And we're going to increase it to 4500 RPMs. So therefore, we're increasing it by a factor of 3. 1500 times 3 is 4500. So therefore, the voltage should increase by a factor of 3. So 10 times 3 is 30. So we should expect an output voltage of 30. Now, if you need a formula, here's what we need to do. Let's find the ratio of E2 to E1. Now, we're dealing with the same generator, so it has the same number of loops. It has the same magnetic field and the same area. The coil should be the same. The only thing that's different is the angular speed. So I'm going to put a subscript for the angular speed. Everything else I'm not going to put a subscript for because we can cancel it. They don't change. So therefore, E2 over E1 is equal to omega 2 over omega 1. So the output voltage is 10 when the angular speed is 1500. So E1 and omega 1 must correspond to each other because they have the same subscript. Omega 2 is 4500. That's the new angular speed. And we're looking for the new voltage that corresponds to it. So let's cross multiply. 10 times 4500 is 45,000. And that's equal to 1500 times the second output voltage. So the second output voltage is 45,000 divided by 1500. And that will give us the same answer of 30 volts.